Yeah, I tried to go live, but nobody was joining the stream, so I decided to just make a video, and I guess people would just watch it at their own leisure. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of just get a little bit of shit off my chest. And I know I deleted my other videos just because, man, I just, I kind of don't really like talk. I just don't really like talking about the, even though I know it's going to sound like a contradiction because I'm making this video and I deleted my other videos because I just didn't really want to talk about this shit anymore. So it may sound like I'm contradicting myself, but whatever. I don't care, man. Fuck it. It is what it is. And another reason why is because I got somebody that keep on bringing me up in their bullshit ass videos and shit. And I ain't gonna mention his name, but I just don't understand why he keep bringing me up and I never said anything to him or did anything to him. And he keep mentioning my, my names in his videos, so. But he, allegedly he's saying that he's not making any more videos, which I'm glad, but he always say that and he wound up making more videos again, so. I don't know, don't care, but. I don't want, that's not what this video is about, so. I'm gonna just do what the fuck I wanna do. People don't like the shit I'm talking about, then don't watch it. I'm not forcing you to watch my shit. People don't like me talking about the things I talk about, then just don't watch, man. I don't understand why people always complain and bitch about the shit I talk about, but yet they still watch it anyway. Go figure, but anyway. Yeah, man, I'm just, I'm just feeling like shit again man i mean when am i not feeling like shit <laughs> you know but uh you know, i just really felt the need to come on here and make another video because you know once again man just took another fucking l you know but i mean what, what else is fucking new you know that asian chick i was telling y'all about for those that that remember or you know remember me talking about the asian chick that's in my that was in one of my classes. Semester, the, the semester is over, by the way. So right now, there's no more classes. It's just finals right now. So the class is over. So I'm not. I'm never gonna see her ever again, more than likely. And I'm. I'm glad because you know, I messaged her about. Well, it wasn't about the paper because like I don't know if y'all remember, but me and her, we in the same class, and we also doing a paper. We have like a paper that we gotta do together. It's like a group paper that my teacher assigned, assigned us to do. Now we didn't pick the, we, we picked our own groups. So the teacher didn't assign us any groups. We just picked our own groups. And I chose to be in the group with the Asian chick cause you know, I play Asian girls or whatever. So I wanted to be in the group with the Asian chick and, the, and it was it's two white, it's two white girls in the group also. And we had to do like a little paper that's due. And, um, you know, we, I was trying to like find, if, you know, trying to find ways to try to, you know, let her know that I was interested because that for the longest I was worried about, you know, trying to let her know that I was interested. And, but I just said, fuck it. I just go went on ahead and I actually texted her a couple days ago. And I just told her, you know, it's not about the paper. Cause like we had like a little group chat about the paper. We start, she started a group chat, but I had texted her and her her number individually, talk you know letting her know like you know like I'm interested and I wanted to maybe possibly hang out with you after finals and shit, and she didn't respond. She responded to the group chat about the paper, but she didn't respond to me when I you know basically you know tried to hit on her. And I felt kind of dumb afterwards, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I felt like an idiot. Like, man, I shouldn't have even did it. I shouldn't have even tried. Because it's just like, I already know more than likely she wasn't gonna respond, which was the case, you know? She still hasn't responded as a, as, as the time I'm recording this video. And I, and I messaged her on Saturday. Today is Monday. But, uh, yeah, man, it is what it is, man. It's just... I'm just, I'm to the point where now, y'all, I just, I totally give up now. Like, I'm just not even gonna even bother to even try to, like, if even if I feel like there's a small window of opportunity for me to meet a girl, like, if we happen to be in the same class or if we're in, like, a group 
together or whatever, man. Whatever the case, whatever the ish, the case is, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to try to, you know, let her know I'm interested or try to shoot my shot. I'm not doing nothing, man. I'm just, I just totally give the fuck up. Like I'm just totally throwing in the towel. I'm waving the white flag, man. I'm just, I'm just done, man. I'm just, I'm just tired of, you know, putting my heart out there just for it to get stomped on, just repeatedly. I just give up totally. So I'm not, I'm, even if I feel like there's an opportunity for me to meet a girl, you know, and try to get with her, I'm just, I just give up, man. I'm just tired of this shit. I'm tired of, you know, trying and trying and trying, and I just keep failing and failing and failing. So, you know, I just, I just feel like there's just no hope for me, man. There's just, there's no hope of me ever, you know, getting with a girl. Just any girl. It don't matter. Like, people always complain about me like an Asian girl as if it's bothering them. Like, I don't understand why people have an issue on, I'm right here on YouTube, people make videos complaining about me complaining about Asian chicks. Like, that's what the fuck I like at the end of the day. I mean, yeah, they don't like me, but I don't care if they don't like me. I still like them. I'm attracted to them. Physically, I'm, I'm physically attracted to Asian chicks. I don't care if the whole world has an issue with me like an Asian girl. I don't give a fuck. I like Asian girls at the end of the day. I mean, it don't, but at the end of the day, it don't matter what race of women I prefer. I could like black girls. They don't want me. I could like only white, only white girls they, they, and they don't want me. I could like only Spanish girls that they, and they don't want me. It don't matter. It's just, I prefer, even though no race of women want me, physically, I'm attracted to Asian. I cannot help what I'm attracted to, y'all. I just like what I like Asian chicks. And I find them more attractive. That's all. You know, and people got a got people got an issue with that, which I don't understand why. You got a problem with it, oh well, deal with it. I don't care. I don't care how you feel about it. You know, yeah, it's hard to get an Asian girl as a black dude. I get it. I understand. I've heard it a million times, but. It's not like it's impossible to get an Asian. I mean, it's impossible for me to get an Asian girl. I can't get any girl. I can't even get a black chick. I don't even really care to be with black girls, but I can't even get get with a decent black girl if I wanted to. So it don't matter. I don't. It don't matter what I prefer, what my preference is. I'm just letting y'all know what I like and what I prefer. I like Asian girls and I like thick girls. I like girls with fat asses and shit. You know, girls with fat with big butts. I like that. I like those type of girls too. But I prefer to be, to like be in a relationship with Asian chicks. But it, like I said, man, it don't matter what I want at the end of the day, y'all. It really don't. I'm just letting y'all know what my preference is because I know a lot of people have an issue with my preferences and shit. And just because I like Asian girls, that don't mean I don't like other races. It's just I prefer Asian girls. I want people to really get that through their heads, man, because people keep thinking that I only like Asian girls. When I don't, and that's not when that's not the case. It's just I prefer Asian girls. There's a difference. It's a difference between only liking Asian girls and preferring Asian girls. Just because I prefer them, don't mean I don't find other races attractive. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, you know that's not what I wanted to really talk about, man. I just just wanted to kind of just vent a little bit. That's all. I wanted to go live, but nobody was didn't care to join the, the live stream. So. And the live stream kept fucking up, so. Yeah, man, I just give up, man. I'm just tired of trying. I'm tired of, you know, thinking that I might have a little bit of a, a chance of, of, of possibly, you know, getting with somebody. It's just not happening, man. I'm almost 30 years old. You know, I'm, I'm at the point where I just need to just give up. I just need to just give up. I'm, you know, I'm too scared to cold approach because I'm just not, I just don't have the balls. You know, girls just don't find me attractive. I just give up, man. I just don't just don't have any hope of meeting anybody. I'll still use the shitty ass dating apps and shit, but I don't even really have any hope with that either. Maybe a little bit, because I did get lucky once, but I'm just tired of this shit. Just tired of trying. Tired of you know, thinking I might have a little bit of a chance, but then I, you know, 
but then in the, in the back of my mind, I feel like it's just not going to happen. And I'm always right, man. I'm always fucking right when it comes to thinking I might have a a, a chance, but then I I be thinking that I I really don't have a chance. And the voice that be in my head be, that be saying it's just like I got like an angel and a devil. One one like on the cartoons when you got the angel on one side of your shoulder and the, and the devil on the left side. You know, it's just one one voice in my head say I might have a chance and the other voice say I don't have a chance. I just listen to the voice that say I don't because I've always I've always never I, I've never had any luck with females. So why why all of a sudden I would just get out of the blue just have luck with, with luck with a girl all of a sudden. I mean, I didn't think I was going to get lucky with that Filipino girl that I ended up dating off off of Tinder back in 2020. But it happened. You know, so it, it is possible that I could probably, probably possibly get lucky again, but it's just opportunities like that are so hard to come by for me, man. It's just, it is super rare. It is super hard for me to, to get anything, man. So, you know, I don't I don't have enough experiences to, to where I feel as though I got it like that. Like, I feel like I'll be able to get another girl. I don't, I ain't got it like that, man. I just, I'm all, I've always had, zero luck with females man i mean yeah i got lucky once but that's it and i didn't even get the i didn't even get the smasher you know i tried to but she was saying she wasn't ready and shit. I'm, I'm gonna make a video talking about her too i don't really feel like doing a video about her right now but i'm gonna do a video talking about the filipino girl because I, I i mention her a lot and i want people to understand how i met her and everything so i'm gonna make a video just solely just talking about her but um yeah, man, I just wanted to get a little bit of this shit off my chest, man. It's just, I know I'm, I'm pretty much sounding kind of redundant at this point because I pretty much said all this shit already before. But I'm just reiter it, reiterating it, reiterating it again, man, because it's just like I, I'm kind of in my feelings now, you know. I'm kind of in my feelings about the Asian girl not responding to me. I, and I, I told myself I wasn't going to get my hopes up, you know. I tried not to, but in the back of my head, I kind of, I kind of was because, you know, I'm thinking, man, I might be able to get with this Asian chick. <laughs> yeah, I, I had another thing coming, man. You no know, Asian girl. I just got to just get that shit out of my head, man. It's just, it's just no Asian girl is just, is just trying to get with me, man. You know, and I, like I told you, I do every now and then it's rare, but every now and then I might have a black girl check me out. It's usually just black girls that check me out, y'all. It's never white girls, it's never Asian girls, it's never Spanish girls. None of the other races of women outside of black girls check me out. But even even black girls, even that's rare that they check me out. So usually I don't get shit, y'all. Usually I don't get no attention from girls at all, period. No matter what, regardless of what race it is. But in the rare cases when I do get get checked out, it's usually black girls. That's it. It's never white girls, never Asian girls, never Spanish girls. It's just black. That's it. So, you know, I just have to just accept it for what it is, man. I'm just, I'm just tired. I'm just tired of stressing over women. I'm tired of stressing over girls. You know, I just need to just focus on other things. Just focus on myself. Focus on, you know, things that I have control over. Because women and trying to get girls, I have no control over that. Girls just not liking me, it's just, I don't have no control over that shit, man. I'm tired of beating my, beating my head up against the wall, banging up my head against the wall, you know, over this shit. It's just not happening. Girls just don't like me, they just don't fucking like me at the end of the day. I'm tired of giving a fuck, man. I'm tired of caring, tired of stressing. You know, I, I and mean, I'm just and I'm just sick of this fucking school, man. Just this college that I'm at, man. I'm just really hoping that once I graduate, I really hope that all this all this bullshit I'm going through will be worth it at the end of the day, man. You know, I'm going for a, a, a way better degree than I than the last degree that I. I got from my last college, so hopefully it'll be worth it. You know, because my last degree wasn't really that good of a degree. I mean, it's a, it a good degree, psychology, but it's just 
bachelor's is not enough. You gotta really have a master's to really, to really um, try to get a, a good paying job. But the degree I'm going for in this, you know, in this field, it's you pretty good with a bachelor's. It don't matter, bachelor's or master's. So, and I don't want to say what my what my major is, but but yeah, man. So. I'm just gonna have to just focus on my studies and shit. And I just really hate this. I just really hate being at this college, man. It's just this whole semester was just trash, man. It's just like I tried to join the, the anime clubs, the Filipino clubs, thinking that I would possibly, you know, make connections with people, but that that shit just ain't happened, man. People was recommending me to join clubs, and man, that shit don't work, man. I could join clubs, I could do this, I could do that. Nobody don't give a fuck about trying to get to know me or trying to befriend me or, you know, making connections with people and, you know, just having, you know, relationships with people and possibly getting a girlfriend and all that shit. It's just not happening, man. It's just, I just have zero luck when it comes to just female interaction and being a part of stuff it's just like i just i'm just always by my fucking self man this whole semester i just been all alone man this semester was just bullshit this college is bullshit i, I just don't like this college i don't like being in college period man i just i'm only here like i said i'm only here because i'm just trying to i'm trying to have a better life than what i have before than what i had before i went back to college because before i went back to college i was just working just a regular bullshit nine to five you know and i just don't want to just do that for the rest of my life i actually want to be something in my life i want to do something with my life you know i want to i don't want to just be sitting up here living under my parents roof and shit and just working just these basic ass jobs not making no money and shit you know so i really feel like going back to school was worth it but at the same time i feel like i just don't like it here man i just i hate it I just can't make, it's like, I just like, nobody just don't want to be around me. I feel like, you know, everybody just so stuck up. Everybody here just, it just seemed like everybody here just stuck up, full of themselves. Everybody just on their phones, you know, especially just like the people around my age, man. Everybody just seems so fucking shallow, mean, you know, especially the girls here, man. The girls are very, very shallow. It's like nobody here is just nice, man. Everybody is just, I haven't really, I barely met anybody that was just like down to earth, like cool, cool to be around, you know? It's just like everybody here just seemed like they just so fucking stuck up, man. You know, I just wish, and then as far as the female thing, man, you know, I just wish I could just go with just to see, just see escorts, man. I just, I wouldn't mind just seeing escorts and just going to massage parlors, but I can't do that shit no more. You know, my parents, they found out about it, and I don't want to get into details about how they found out and all that shit. It's too personal, but they found out, so I can't do it no more. But going there was a good cope, man. I ain't going to lie. I mean, yeah, it's not genuine. I know a lot of people say they want the real thing. They want the genuine companionship and all that shit, but I ain't getting that shit, man. So I feel like it was better than nothing, man. I'll be, I mean, yeah, you'll go back to feeling the same again, but at least... At least you'll have, at least you can constantly go back and have something to look forward to every time when you want, if you, when you're feeling down and down and depressed, you can just keep going back if you, if you got the money, you know, to save up your money and just keep going. That's what I, that's what I'd rather do, man, because I'm just not getting it the genuine way. I'm not getting female attention, genuine female companionship. And I wouldn't mind just doing that for the rest of my life, man, honestly. You know, I wouldn't mind just going out the country and just paying a whole bunch of pretty girls to just be around. Not just to have sex, but, well, that too, the sex. Pay to, for companionship and all that shit. I wouldn't mind just doing that for the rest of my life, because I'm just not getting it the regular way. It's just not happening. Uh, yeah, man, I just, I just, I just give up, man. Just tired of stressing over this shit. You know.
know, like I said, I'll still use the day naps and shit, but I ain't like sitting up there uh, wasting my money on these on these bullshit date naps and trying to, you know, maybe increase my chances of possibly getting matches and buying likes and you know, like trying to have it so where my profile can be at the top and all that. Fuck all that, man. I'm just gonna use the free shit. If I run out of likes, then I'll just I just run out of likes and I'll just start swiping again till I get my like till I'll be able to swipe again until I just get lucky. Because like I said, I that's another reason why I'm still kind of using the date naps because I did get lucky before with the Filipino girl off of Tinder. So I'm kind of like going off of, off of that experience alone, which is kind of the reason why I'm still, still kind of using the date naps. But I still like don't like using date naps because I, I mo most of the time, you know, I don't get shit off of, on date naps either. Like, I'm ignored on there, too. Like, I barely get any matches. Usually, when I do get matches, it's just trannies, dudes, bots, or just girls that's just not attractive at all. So, yeah, man. It's just, it just is what it is, man. It just, it's just, I just have to just accept things for what they are, man. I just have to accept that I'm just not that guy. I'm not, I'm not the guy that women, I'm not any female's type. I'm no female's type. Girls don't find me attractive. I'm just not, I'm not the type of guy that women would, you know, th I'm not the type of guy that women want to be around, period. You know, I'm just, I'm just not that guy, man. I'm just not. And I just have to accept it. So, it just is what it is, man. And I'm tired of people, you know, thinking that I'm associating myself with the black pill community for the for the tenth millionth time. Like I said, I don't associate myself with any type of pills, TFL, and all this bullshit. Like I said, man, I don't I don't like associate myself with any of the any of those communities, man. I'm just one individual on YouTube that happened to be talking about the same shit that's that's related to to the to to the content that black pill content creators make but that don't but i'm not associating myself with that community that's why i don't put hashtag black pill tfl I, I don't do that shit no more i used to because i was just trying to get views but i don't do that shit no more but people still trying to lump me up with the black pill and all that fuck the black pill Fuck Black Pill, fuck TFL, fuck all that shit. I'm just my own person with my own thoughts, my own, you know, my own mindset. And I don't even notice I don't be saying it's over and all that shit. I don't I don't use them terms and all that bullshit. Fuck all that shit, man. I'm just my own I'm I'm me. I'm me. Living in solitude. You know, I ain't I'm not trying to be like anybody else i'm just being my fucking self at the end of the day man i don't come on here to, to make these videos to prove anything or nothing i'm just here to just vent and express my feelings and like i said i ain't i'm not really gonna be doing this shit like that no more man this might actually be my my i know i keep saying this gonna be my last video and all that but I don't really plan on making videos like that anymore. I'm just going to just go live from time to time, but I'm not going to be coming on here making videos like that no more, man. I'm just tired of talking about this shit. I just wanted to just make this video because I was in my feelings about the Asian girl not responding to me. But I'm just tired of this shit, man. I'm just tired of just giving a fuck about women. I'm tired of giving a fuck that girls don't like me. I just have to really, really accept this shit, man, for what it is. I have to really just really accept that I'm just never gonna find love. I'm never gonna be able to get a girlfriend. I'm never gonna be able to get an Asian girlfriend because that's what I really want. I'm just never, never gonna get anything, man. And I just gotta accept things for what they are. I have to really, and it, as bad as it hurts, I have, to, I have to deal with the pain. I have to accept that I'm just never gonna get what I want. And I just have to just take it on the chin and just deal with it, accept it, and just, just deal with it. It ain't nothing I can do about it. It's nothing I can do. It's nothing that y'all can do. 
it's nothing that nobody can do. I just have to accept it for what it is and just live my life the best way I can without having anybody. I'm almost 30 years old, you know, I can't be complaining about the shit in my 30s still. I ain't, I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to do that to myself. I just have to just live life the best way I can without having a partner. You know, so, ain't nothing I can do about it. But yeah, yo, I think that's all I got, man. It's just, I have to accept things for what they are. Yeah, man, it just is what it is, man. I don't, I don't know what else to say. I really don't. I, like I said, I wish I would rather just go pay for it, man. I wish I could just pay for it and just just do that and just be happy with that. But I can't do that anymore because my parents. So I have no way of really coping with this shit. Just have to just rely on just the, the shitty ass date naps, I guess. Swiping right on everybody. Hoping that I luck up like I did before. But that was what, three years ago? Shit, I probably won't get lucky again, probably till like 2027 or some shit. Because I, I've been using date nights for years, man. And I finally got lucky back in 2020. Before that, I was still using date nights. I was using Tinder for years. And I finally got lucky in 2020. I got, I was using dating, I was using Tinder years prior to, to that experience. And I finally got lucky in 2020. So I might not get lucky again until three, four, five years later after, after, after that. You know, it's already been three years so far now. It might be another fucking three years till I get, get a, another, you know, meet up with a girl for dating now. Who knows, man? I just, I feel like luck is the only thing that I have to rely on, man. It's just fucking luck. You just gotta be lucky. That's, that's the only way to, to get a, for me, that's the only way I can get a girl is just luck. Just gotta be at the right place at the right time, gotta swipe the right girl, you know. And maybe she'll give you a chance, maybe she won't. Just gotta be lucky, man. That's, that's, how I, that's pretty much the only thing that I can really rely on is just luck. So I just don't care to be around females anymore. I don't I don't even like looking at girls, y'all. Honestly, I just hate looking at girls sometimes. I'm I'm not saying I'm not to say I'm not attracted to females. Like I st I'm still attracted to girls physically. Like I, I can't help it, y'all. I'm a I'm a straight guy. I like women. I like ass and titties. Well, I prefer ass I over titties, but I like girls with fat asses. I like Asian girls. I just love the presence of women. I love females. I love looking at females. I just love women I, I love the way they look and I'm attracted to them physically but at the same time I, I can't stand them because they just they always make me feel like I'm like I'm just a piece of shit that's that's one of the reasons why I don't like them because they just they make me feel like I'm just like a like a nobody because every time I'm around them they just always give me looks of disgust especially at this college I'm at bullshit college I'm at you know like females just make me feel like I'm like I'm nothing and that's why I feel the way I feel that's why I have so much resentment towards them a lot of time but at the same time I'm I'm still attracted to them because I'm a man at the end of the day I, I'm, a, I'm a straight guy I like women I like the way I like the anatomy of, of women oh, well not the anatomy but you know what I mean like I just like ass and titties and pussy and you know and I just like I just like women man I just like women I like females and I'm always like females to the day I die is this I'm attracted to females physically I'm attracted to women you're supposed to be attracted to women you know that's how that's how God created us as men you're supposed to be attracted to females but I'm attracted to them physically but I just, at the same time, I still don't like them, man. Cause they, cause of the way they make me feel, they just make me feel like I'm just a loser. I'm just a piece of shit, and they just make me feel like I just, you know, I just can't have them. So, 
just is what it is, man. So I'm I'm just I'm done talking about this shit, y'all. I don't think I'm making any more videos after this. I know I said this I say this all the time, but I really think I might stop making videos. I might just just keep going live, just make live streams, you know, from time to time. But yeah, I'm I'm done talking about this shit, man. I'm, I'm just done. But that's all I got, y'all.